Let's record. Okay, so uh, welcome to this meeting again for the sake of those people who might just be joining us. Uh, let's just start from the beginning. Uh, we said that this is network marketing business and it's a relationship business. As you can see from my screen, it's a network of people connecting one person to the other. It's all about connection, connecting people to either products or services. And it's a relationship business because if you want to connect people to people and people to company, you have to be some kind of relationship with them. And so I want us in this team to build this business with the, with the notion behind our mind that we are building a business relationship, we are building a relationship. If you are bad at building relationship with people, it is time for you to begin to learn how to build healthy relationships because that's what is going to keep us together, just like this tree we are seeing on the screen. Before I proceed, I want to also let us know that the network marketing industry, especially in Nigeria, has been bastardized. There's a lot of issues going on, fights, and a lot of, the, the atmosphere is not conducive. And we here, we are trying to you know, change the narrative. Let's make it a bit of love. Let's build it a relationship business on the principle of network marketing, which is if you help other people get what they want, you will get what you want. That is the principle. And that's what we want to use in this our wonderful team called the Great Minds. Okay. So for us to continue, look at what we have on the screen. Three golden rules. Three golden rules. Number one, pay attention. Now, this pay attention is very, very important because in meetings, especially in, in visual meetings like this, the temptation of uh, you uh, not paying attention and doing other things is very high. But please, in our meetings, in our business presentations, please pay attention. It's very, very important. Whether you know the subject or not, please pay attention. Number two, get excited. Let me tell you, in network marketing, once you remove excitement, there's little you can achieve. Because as you are prospecting, as you are sharing your, the opportunity or the product, excitement needs to be there. Excitement is, is part of network. It's what gives, you know, that gives birth to... Um, Passion and passion is the color that we add to our activity. When somebody sees you talking passionately, you say yes. So get excited. Number three, don't quit. We are not promising that everything is going to be rosy. We are not saying that as we start, bam, there's going to be results left and right. There are going to be challenges, and we are telling you there are going to be problems, but we are promising that we working together as leaders who can be able to solve them together. And so in the process of these challenges, don't quit. People don't quit. I used to say leaders don't quit. Imagine these big companies, MTN, Coca-Cola, and the rest. Uh, Spa. If they want to open a new branch, they go there, buy the land, put a heavy amount of money, build the structure, very big. This, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yeah, screen is, no, it's, it's disappeared. Okay, 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 don't worry. Okay, it's, it's, it's all right. Again. All right, thank you so much. Sorry, we have a, a little interruption of network there. All right, like the, uh, I'm talking about the last golden rule here, don't quit. And we are saying on that this don't quit, we are not promising you that there's not going to be challenges. We are not promising you that there's not going to be problems. But what we are promising is that Together as leaders, we can come together and solve these challenges along the way. But as we are trying to solve it, the issue is that don't quit. Winners are not quitters. Okay, leaders don't quit. Look at these big companies, for example, we need to learn something from them. MTN, uh, SPA, actually SPA. They go to a new location, they pump in so much money, build structures and all of that. And I keep asking myself the question, how are they willing to spend such money without knowing if the business is going to be successful? These guys must know something that we don't, okay? So if they don't quit, they make the business work. So we in this team, we will not quit until we make the business work. All right. So uh, I want everybody to get a calendar or a planner to start focusing in the time you will spend working on your business. Even though it's not a calendar planner, get a diary, get a book for this business so that it becomes professional. Once you can put down your stuff in a planner or in a diary, you see that you keep working to it. If you are saying, okay, on Mondays, I'm going to go out for prospecting. On Tuesdays, I'm going to for flyer sharing. Put it down, plan it. And you see it, you see you become more uh, productive when you do that because 
most people, their challenge they have in this industry is that they have the passion, they, have, they are excited, but they do not even know the activity to do. So if you put it down, and you see that you become more productive. All right. So MLM success will show up if you become magnetic by relaxing the prospects and building a bridge of trust. If we say we want to kickstart, that is why you see me starting with this training tonight. If we say we want to kickstart, these are the elements we want to put in place. MLM success, network marketing success will show up if you become magnetic by relaxing the prospect and building a bridge of what trust. Now you have an idea. The idea is Juvenate Wellness International. We have an amazing product on our business plan. And then there's money on the other hand, because if they come in, you are going to earn. If you build, they are going to earn. Now, what is the bridge to connect the opportunity or the idea and the money you want to earn is trust. So what we want to try to build now, we want to build trust in our prospects. Trust. Trust is the bridge. He said, you, success will show up if you become magnetic by relaxing the prospects. Let's you know that, wow, there's a lot of issues going on in the industry right now, but you can trust us. You can trust us. And make the, the prospect to be relaxed. Okay? Build a bridge of trust, transparency, and accountability. Your downline needs you. You are not there. If you are not there, make sure you understand. Make them to be trust. Make yourself trustworthy. Be transparent. They give you money to register, register them. If you don't, if you have not done it, please say, sorry, we are, I'm having some issues, but so, so they come and take your kids. Make them trust you and be accountable. And that is why I like telling leaders, I say, I always attend meetings. Because if so you attend meeting, you can call your dad like that. You were not in the meeting, you really missed. Please, next week be there or next time be there. It shows accountability. Put eye in what we are doing in our in our products, in our marketing plan, the training, so that your data does not call you or the people you are trying to prospect. Eh, 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 what is the price of brain and that? You see, okay, I'm coming. Let me ask somebody. Ah! Immediately, you have just proven that you are not dependable. And we say we are leaders. So please, let's build ourselves so that we can be accountable. And why building a bridge of trust and transparency? True leaders don't create followers. They create more leaders. Read that again. True leaders don't create followers. They create more leaders. If we are wow. building and a stage, the people we are building cannot build others, we are failed. So you see the reason why it is good to do things intentional. Because we want to create more leaders in the industry. And that is why the Project 100 I suggested last time we had the meeting, I told us we should do Project 100 because we want to raise 100 star leaders. Those star leaders will be our benchmark of leadership. Those star leaders will have their own separate training so that they can also build other people. So it's not all about getting, I recruit 100 people and they're just following you. Are they leaders? I didn't know we borrow down lines, wherever you push them and keep that is where they are. If you want things to change, you have to change. It starts with you. So if you want, if you have been doing network marketing by uh, just keep on doing consistency, it is fine. But it is trainings like this that keep the people, the team together, will keep them loyal to you. Keep them, they say there is something we have to learn here. And so when the opportunities, let me tell you, opportunities will keep coming to Nigeria. More people will keep bringing more opportunities. It is things like this, when you change the way you do business, when you change the way you operate, people stick with you. So if you want things to change, you have to change. If you want things to be better, you have to be better. We have to commit ourselves to capacity building. Well, me being saddled with responsibility of chairman of this group, I have a lot of issues we are going to put on board to build ourselves. So by times I can come up with book of the month or book of the quarter. Go and get it, we read. This is the only way to sustain network now in Nigeria because networkers, especially network leaders, they are not loyal. They are jumping from one company to another. And the grassroots networkers are even confused. 
So it's not a time where you can go and recruit somebody and tell him our own is better. He has to see things and say, no, I've not seen these things elsewhere. Wow, I don't know the way you guys do your thing. He wants to work with you. Not even knowing whether what is the marketing plan, whether it is better than the other companies. Mm -mm. He just saw what you are doing. He loves the way you are. He wants to work with you. That's also what some of us have achieved in this industry. I got to know Mr. Paul. How? He was talking to somebody to sign on. The person said, if Mr. Jesse does not see this thing, I approve it. I will not join. He called another person in another state. The person said the same thing. And I was like, oh, who is this Mr. Jesse? I was laughing the day he called me. I didn't even know. But the truth about the issue is that we got to that point by building ourselves and the way we do our stuff. We have to change the way we do stuff. If you understand residual income, you will walk through a brief world to get it. This is the goal we want to build. If we have been doing try and error in other companies, this time around, we are very closer to the management of this company. If, we, if the company fails, it's our fault. Let it be that it's other issues that are above our hand. If we can build this thing very well, I'm telling you, residual income will be very, very easy to get. And you will do whatever it takes to get it. To move forward, we need ideas and a change of mindset. Something happened in one of the network I did. When they brought it to me, I told them, I said, this uh, environment I was, I am right now, this thing will not work here. There's uh, one company that is dominating. I signed up and truly, 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 I struggled and struggled. Nothing was working. Nothing was working. Until one day, something happened and I told myself, this business has to work. Huh. I'm telling you, when I said that, Mainly I said that thing like this, eh? mm. the business caught fire. Change your mindset. Change your mindset. And then to move forward, we need ideas. And these are some of the ideas we will need to uh, talk about as very soon I'll come to conclusion of this presentation. Number one, we need to agree on days in the week or month for health presentation and opportunity seminar. In our last meeting, we already agreed that we'll be doing it Mondays and Thursdays. And we also need to come to agreement on the day we'll be going to we'll pick one city in the month because we say we have picked five. We have to pick it in the next meeting because we are not much tonight. We have to put that for next meeting. We have to review our presentation to add local content and peculiarities. I'm calling on all leaders. If you have presentations you feel we can use to make something comprehensive, please contact me or contact any of the schools. Let's put it together and bring out a powerful presentation plan. I have mine. I don't know if you have yours, but two heads are better than one. Two good heads are better than one. Okay. We also need a presentation that explains the efficacy of the product and how we can help link members to both orthodox natural medicine practitioners. Okay. People like pharmacists, they need to join also because they're authority in the health field. Okay. Uh, then finally, we have to develop a prospecting support system and structure. I'm going to give us an example now, okay? This is the key of what we want to do in our campaign called Project 100, developing a prospecting support system and structure. For example, just look down, look at the screen, you will see what I put down. Well, first of all, before we go into it, look at what Albert Einstein said, just something to score us up so that we can work. He said the most powerful force in the universe is compound interest. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, ends it. He who doesn't, pays it. I read that again. The most powerful force in the universe is compound interest. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, and it. He who doesn't, pays it. It means that some people are paying for not even knowing what, how to use compound interest. I want you to think about that as we proceed. The real reason that most people struggle financially is that they learn to work hard for their money without understanding the principle of season of wealth creation. I want to also to ponder on this as we proceed. In my next presentation, we'll talk more on this. Now, look at, let's go back to the system structure. I was thinking a recruiting system. Now, we are saying that people who, who are registered should send out the following message to their prospects. Now, if they have prospects, 
If they can have a customized SMS or WhatsApp message, those are the one you are reading, like it's a point. Like a message, uh, some, like your dollar is now. They just send it to their prospects. They want to sign up. You see, an outstanding team of international business builders will be in town for a health or business opportunity conference. I was privileged to be connected and was asked to recommend a credible and potential business-minded person. They might invite you. Please do not miss it if you are invited. Now, when this person send the message to, let's say, all his contacts, because remember, human beings are human resource capital. Yes. In natural marketing, people is equal to money. So let's even say we are looking for people to register. In everybody's phone, there, is, there are more than 10 contacts there. Now, let's say we're able to get 10 people that gave us 10 contacts, and we send this message. That is 100. 100 contacts. If 100 people can give us 10, 10 contacts, it's like 1,000 contacts. Let us say that by 20% ratio, we have 20% conversion rate. We have 200 people coming into this system for us to work with the 100 together. Amazing, to be powerful. So we want to use contacts. We send this message. Maybe we send it the step two of what I'm thinking is the upline will not send this message to those same numbers. See, look at this kind of message. We are an international health and wellness organization called Juvenile Wellness International. We support wealth creation through health-based business initiative by organizing training workshops and conferences on how you can be healthy and wealthy using one of the most renowned business models we know, uh, business models. We know that there are a lot of scams out there and a lot of persons have lost their hard earned money. We, however, want to set a new pace with our incredible business structure. And we are looking for a few individuals we will use to showcase our mission. You will be recommended highly as a credible and business-minded person. That is why we are inviting you to a health and business opportunity conference. Confirm attendance and obtain a code number for parts or seat reservation and other details. Now, when an upline sends this message to those number, remind, remember your downline sent it to their prospects and forward the numbers to the upline. Your upline forward this step two message. Now, those who will receive, who will send to them to confirm, because after we have blasted this SMS, some people who will be interested will say, okay, let me, let me get my confirmation code. Now we send them SMS. How? You see, on receipt of confirmation, an invitation code will be sent to them. Now, this invitation code, this JWI is Juvenile Wellness International, slash the state the person is, slash the last four digits of the referral phone number. What it means is that, uh, like me, my phone number ends with 51, sorry, 2384. Okay, so that we are going to know who referred the person. We can also use other systems of doing this. Okay, and uh, the venue and the time should be sent also via SMS. We have already confirmed the number of people who is going to attend either our Zoom meeting or our uh, city, uh, what is it called, our city seminar using this uh, pattern I just said. Okay, using this pattern I just said. And what this pattern I just said in general is this last thing, develop a prospecting support system and structure is very, very important. So uh, let me call it a break here. Why I open the floor for contributions, questions, and whatever you feel that uh, is necessary for us to move on as we try to build our dream business. Thank you very much. I remain Jesse Matthias. And if you have any questions, it is now time to ask. Reverend. It's really okay, a right. wonderful moment we have just had. I don't think uh, me in person, I don't have a question here. You have just told you are hello. Are you hearing me better now? Yes, sir. Yes, are you can hearing hear me you. better? I hear you. Yes, sir. Hear you. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. Uh -huh. I say myself, um, so that we don't keep wasting too much time as waiting for us to say something. I just decided to say something. I don't have question to ask from what has been said tonight because the raw truth, the very sincere truth has been said.
tonight and is really amazing. When you see something that something real, something factual, something that is what people are looking for, you see it. You don't have any question. That's just what you demonstrated. I want to say thank you. Let me not take too much of our time. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We are grateful. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you so very much, um, Mr. Jesse. Uh, absolutely amazing. Thank you, Pastor Elisha, for the contribution. Um, I think it's a very good way to start. I, I couldn't make it in the last meeting, but I was glad I joined this one. Uh, I have been on the road trying to get my mother's head stabilized. All right, so um, I'm bored to join this glorious startup. Um, 